between a hollow point, an FMJ, and a cast powder coated round. So we got three of each type, and it'll be interesting to see what happens difference. My guess is the FMJ doesn't even come part. The cast is a wild card. I have no clue what it's going to do, and I've never shot ballistic gel with a cast round. And the hollow point will hopefully do hollow pointy things, and we're going to see. I have two ballistic gel blocks stacked back to back, so that way if we don't catch it in the first one, we should catch a projectile in the second one. Okay, so first up, I'll be shooting the three FMJs. I'm not gonna lie, guys, ballistic gel is so cool every time I shoot it. So those are my three FMJs. They all had about, I don't know, 16 plus is some change, so 20 something inches penetration into there. Flew, didn't come apart. It's kind of exactly what you'd expect from an FMJ. Okay, next up, I'll be doing the hollow point rounds. Okay, yeah, so this is really interesting. So the hollow points that I was, was shooting are kind of some older ones. The first hollow points I ever bought, they're the cheapest ones I could find. This is like almost a decade ago now. Anyway, so one hit one of the FMJs and tumbled and ended up right there. Obviously it didn't expand that great. And the other two hollow points, for whatever magical reason, did not expand at all. So that means I think they kind of suck. And they went out off into the wild blue yonder. So I don't like that brand of hollow points. Luckily, I'm almost, they're almost gone. Uh, the, so then I went and grabbed one of the hollow points out of my, uh, uh, my everyday carry, which is a SIG. Um, I'll put a picture of that here. And it didn't even make it through this first one. And it did exactly what you'd expect a hollow point to do, expanded just like you would expect and performed beautifully for a hollow point. All of these you can see are slow. I'm shooting them near the top and they all kind of been arcing down as they slow down. And now I'm gonna shoot it with the uh, uh, cast round. So I'm looking for them. <laughs> this one looks pretty cool. So some interesting things happened there. Kind of actually what I would expect. So I shot a red, a white, and a blue one and I, I see them all. So the red one, I went from the top straight down there. Honestly, they seem to be performing very comparable to the FMJs, which isn't surprising because there's no hole that's gonna catch any of the ballistics gel material um, and, and allow it to expand. But I also knew there wasn't a, a jacket on it to really hold it together. It's just a powder coated layer, but it actually performed about the same. So this red one ended up about where the FMJs were ending up. The blue one, I shot a little bit lower, went down, actually like hit the hit the table. Whoa, it's literally just lying right there. How about that, guys? So like hit the table and just streaked through this other ballistics gel. You can see the path and ended up in between the gel and the table, like almost even unharmed. You could probably load that again and just go shoot it. And then the white one ended up kind of a far back there. You'll probably see it better from above. So that's the white one right there. So they did very comparable to the FMJs. Okay guys, so I hope that was kind of informative. Um, it's kind of crazy. So the FMJs and cast rounds that are powder coated act very similarly to one another. And then the hollow points goes to show that not all hollow points are the same. So spend your money on some quality hollow points. Um, anyway guys, if you have any other things you want me to test in ballistic gel, put it in the comments below. And always, thanks for watching.